was gonna say, like, uh, if you were gonna run dedicated, I did over the road for three years, and I did, this is my first year doing dedicated. And over the road, you know, it's pros and cons to everything, you know what I'm saying? And then a lot of people, you know, when you come from over the road, you think of that, when I first got the job, when I came from over the road, I was thinking it's just like over the road, you know, Take a load up there, you know, take a load of day up there. And then, you know what I'm saying? Then you just be more relaxed. I was at home every night. Oh my God, I had a, that was a rude awakening, a rude awakening for this shit because it's like we on the move like this every time. And on the move, one either side, I'm on the move. I'm always on the move. I'm on run, I'm going somewhere every side. Every, it's like, I mean, it's good because, you know, they, they always have work for you. You know what I'm saying? That's where that count I am in. They don't always have work. I don't think they replace this shit no time soon. Yeah, they always gonna have work, but man, when I tell you they always have work, they always have work. I, it was to the point, man, I had to light up my schedule because they, they do shit like this. They schedule all the loads in the 14 hours you got. You know what I'm saying? You only got 11 hours to drive, so they take that to consideration. And also the, uh, the little 14 hours, the little 14 hours I got, then three hours of on duty and 11 hours of driving time. So it's like they, they be like they uh I was in the, you always get on. I just got over on work to a mercy a mercy vehicle. Someone got pulled over. It's not the full what you expect. And then it's like for real. And dedication, that the dedicated job is like, man, I'm talking about a good night, I get four hours of sleep. On a good night, because your, 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 your sleep pattern is like up and down, it varies. Sometimes you're low late, but they get mad at you because you, you late, because you're low late, and you can't help that, you know. I you know I tell my bosses all the time, I get there when I get there. And, then, and the reason why I said that, I'm not saying that I, I want to get on time, but it's not like, I, you know, sometimes you can't because, you know, you got traffic, you got construction, you know, you got weather, you know what I'm saying? So it just, it just goes with the job, but at the same time, sometimes the weather be so severe, you got to get off the road or park it and, and wait it out. Because, you know, if you keep driving, it's asking. But it's about to the dedicated, dedicated, like I said, it's, and it's, you always on the move, man. Like, I'm, like I, I get up to on a good on a, on, on, a, on a good week it's four stops a day and I'm talking about I run here then I can run 30 miles here then I can run 50 miles here sometimes two hours here you know what I'm saying then all of a sudden I got a part of the truck the whole time I got like 20 minutes left on my clock I mean it was times man I didn't want to run my DOT time I, I'm sure I used to go to, I go see hungry because I had to see one a lot because I have no time left you know what I'm saying? And they, they, they scheduled that tight. You know what I'm saying? You know, they, they, they call it getting the most money you can, but, you know, it's hazardous on the drivers, man. I'm trying to tell you that the dedicated route, man, see, so I'm getting kind of used to it. And it is, I just look at it, it is what it is. They give me a, my schedule beforehand. I look at it and I say, God damn, here we go. It's going to be up a 14 hour day. You know? Like, I kid you not, man. I think my, my days be no less. Today gonna be a 14 hour day. And my, my um, I kid you not, my um, my schedule be no less than every day, Monday through Saturday, be no less than 12 hours. You know, and I, you know, I probably laugh at people. And it's not the most difficult job. Like, this job by none is the most difficult job I ever had. But mentally straining, yes. Physically straining, no. Emotionally struggling, yes, yes, in a way, you know what I'm saying? And then the weekends you get off, it's only for a 34 hour reset, and then half of the time, you see the half of the time, you bug out two hours to experience your family. Then you back about it up, you know what I'm saying? That's how it is with a trucking job, you know what I'm saying? If you've got a, a stable wife or a stable husband, you know what I'm saying, at home, you, uh, you can make it, your marriage can make it. You know what I'm saying? They understand what you do. If they don't understand what you do, it's almost a guarantee they're gonna fail because you know, um, I couldn't have to stay with Rachel because I'm always on the move. You know 
know what I'm saying? I have to do everything I gotta do. I used to have to do everything I had to do at the crib. And then I have to, I'm on, I gotta leave. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And, you know, you know, JP Hunter's not a bad gig. It just, you know, it just, communication is lackluster. But I learned that with a lot of trucks. I've been fast for uh, different trucks. I'm, this is probably the best one by far. And, um, the communication in any truck in this basic lackluster. They don't understand. It's the many, the this, many dispatchers don't drive trucks. So they fresh out of school. So they really like, they really do like book work. You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. So they think it's a book and that's like, it's, that's the way of life. So they, they, they look at, and they look at a piece of paper for your mouth. So they said like, you got 30 minutes, 30, 30 miles, 30 minutes, because it's 60, 60 minutes in the, in the clock. So we, as truck drivers, we use 60 minutes, 60 miles, you know. Okay, you know, 120 is two hours. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, they look at 30 minutes, or 31 minutes. Oh, you got 31 minutes, you're 31 minutes away. The whole time, they not taking into account that what you see is about an hour and a half because it's traffic and it's construction and it's, and it's uh, in this motherfucking inclement weather. Now, if it was perfect condition, it's like no traffic, no construction, and all that, then in the summertime with no wind, you could get there in 30 minutes, probably less than that, you know what I'm saying? But you, you know, you got in the winter months, you know, shit happens. And then, that's what I be trying to explain to my dispatch, it's like, you know, he said, he said, they, they don't understand, he was, he said, you was, they're all, he said, you was on time all summer. He said, I understand that, but the winter time, it's ball game in the winter time because I'm up north, you know, I'm you know based out of you know White West Wisconsin, Illinois and um, Michigan and Indiana, so it snows up there. You know what I'm saying? There's no way in hell that, you know, I could drive and when it's snowing, but when the shit becomes too hectic, I'm gonna get off the fucking road. You know what I'm saying? Because definitely freezing weather. I don't really when it's below eight and shit, it's black ice. You know what I'm saying? That's giving fucking tea. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't, really don't fuck with that and shit. I hope they got to understand it. But, you know, spring is coming around the corner, so I ain't really worried about it. And then the other thing is, too, with the, with the spring and the summer, what you have to worry about as a truck driver is, like, I, I, I you know, I'm going to make a video, but I'm going to touch on it a little bit, maybe a lot, is that people in the summertime can't drive, which means, uh, they fly and all type of shit, and you got these, you know, everybody, I think mean, it's about uh, over 50,000 truck drivers get their license every fucking year, you, get, you gotta be uh, aware of these new drivers, I, I be learning, I've been, I've been driving for years, and I, I, I've been, I've been through the super, uh, the, um, the uh, new driver phase and the super trucker phase. I've been through all. I've been. I've been through all the phases. So it's like I understand. Like yeah, because you drove two years, and then you think you've seen everything. But you know, for driving four, and I look back in my two years of, of experience, I look at it now like nah, I ain't seen a, a goddamn thing. Cause I saw when the shit three, the third year hit. I saw. I'm start, I saw a lot more. A lot more bullshit. A lot more bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I see tornadoes. I see earthquakes, I see dead bodies, you know what I'm saying? You got to have a strong stomach for doing this trucking shit. And then, if you ain't in for this trucking for the right reasons, you can't be in here, you can't be uh, doing the trucking because you think you're going to get some money, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to tell my friend, man, you know, that's how I call my brother, you know how you been, you know, you be real cool, you know how Chicago is, you be real cool, you know, you become your family. But I try to tell him, like, man, don't go in this truck and shit for the money. Because you will never get it. And I had to learn that the hard way, too. That's how we can find companies. I had to go. I was going it. When I came, I said, oh, man, trucking make a lot of money. But that got to do with experience and over time. Don't go in there and you, you know, get your license and think you're going to make a lot of money. Because you're not. You're not. You're not going to make a lot of money. Nobody going to pay you. No company going to pay you if you don't have the experience. You know what I'm saying? And then, that's it, man. That, that, there's no way around it. Trust me, I'm just trying to do for the money. It's all the stupid ass shit and that shit. 
it took me a while to understand I had to sit my ass down in one place for at least six months since how I got to JB Hunt. And then we're here, this is my first year here, you know what I'm saying? To get here and sit down, that's when you really will make the money once you get the experience. But that's any job, you know what I'm saying? That's anything, any any, any career job you got, or any warehouse or restaurant job, you, just, you stay there for a while, you get more money, you know? You, all right, and then I try to tell people, I say, man, you better learn that truck, and you better learn that truck story. And you better love that damn truck. Because you can't, you, you know, because don't go for the money. The money comes. You know what I'm saying? It's just how long you last. You know what I'm saying? And then shit, four years, I'm just speaking for four years of experience. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think this, yeah, this is going to my field. You know what I'm saying? The end of this shit is going to my field. And it's like, I ain't gonna say I'm a fan, but I'm gonna say it's like, you gotta learn, you say you gotta love this shit, man. You gotta love this shit. You gotta learn, you gotta, you gotta learn, to, uh, disable your mind, cause, oh my God, yo, if I put it on, I, I, you see my crazy ass on YouTube, but you gotta disable your thoughts from uh, your mentality of not seeing home for a while. You know what I'm saying? I've been on the road for a month. I'm just used to it, cause I know, I've, I've been on the road for years, at a year at a time. I'll be gone. You know what I'm saying? Get, you know. But I'm single, so it's like it, it works out for me. You know what I'm saying? So we just like, but you know, I'll be gone for years at a time, and I don't, you know, I'm used to it. You know, I'm just used to it. But when you first start, you know, you gotta explain. He's definitely in a relationship because I was in a relationship with my baby, my, my baby mother, and she said that you know. You want me home all the time, and I was not making no money that way. You know, okay? definitely on the road. On the road, you ain't definitely making no money. You're home all the time. Trust me, you ain't making no goddamn money. You home all the time. You ain't making no money. And they let you do that. Some companies will let you go home. Some companies ain't, ain't gonna let you go home. Some companies will let you stay out for like three months and have you know seven days a day off. So you like you be home. You be home for like a good week, and then you back. You know, three months whole fucking week and then you back out on the road. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is in this trucking game. That's how you gotta make all this is making all the money. You gotta be gone. You know what I'm saying? So it's like man, you can make a lot of money out here if you dedicate yourself to it. And then how you dedicate yourself to it, this is like number one Uno for me. And I don't know uh, a lot of truck drivers can watch their videos or tell you how to be on the road. You learn something new every day. I don't give a damn if you learn it first if you first year, first two years you learn about how the truck run, learn about different parts and all that shit. You need to know your truck. Well, you get beyond two years. See, I read books. Uh, I gotta do the Bible today. I ain't. I supposed to do that money. I gotta do two, four videos today. Shit, that makes sense because I ain't did what yesterday was. And I do today, and that's my learning experience. You know what I'm saying? My learning curve. And that's like what I try to learn new words. I try to read history. You know what I'm saying? Educate my mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, try to get in the news and see what's going on with the world. Because you got to stay focused. Because if you don't learn nothing every day, I guarantee you're going to lie. But you get off the fucking road. Because you lie about getting an accident. You got to keep your mind active. And also, number two, uh, uh, number, number one is, number one, number uno is the, um, is the mind. Make sure you Work on your mind. Number two, dose. You gotta, uh, I'm trying to learn Spanish. You see, I say dose. I'm trying to learn Spanish. So that's not thing I'm trying to learn, too. But, uh, these some Mexican friends. And all that shit. That shit is it, one ear out the fucking other in the Spanish. Oh, I try to, I learned how to count. Who knows those stories? Quato. But, shit. Cinco. Threats. But, it's like, the words, I'm like, I know senorita, miss. How you doing, senorita? That's a cold word. That's a cold way of saying miss. How you doing, senorita? Oh my God. That's a cold, that's a cold word, man. I said senorita? Oh, shit. It got me wet. I'm the, I'm the Joshua. But anyway, number two is work out your body. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't gonna really do much for driving and back and pretty much that's it. Oh, probably walking to a truck stop getting you something to eat. And you got the saturated fat and all them fat fiber, all that fat and shit. You know what I'm saying? Eating protein, protein with no weights. You know, that's dead weight. So just 
go to your fast sale. So you need to um, learn how to, that's why I said I gotta stop the cigarettes. Cause you a smoker. If you a smoker, you probably don't smoke as much as hard. But I guarantee you, if you hit on this truck, you'll smoke 10 times more. And I found that out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you a smoker, you gonna smoke. Cause all you doing is, all you doing is just staying with your thoughts. Staying with your thoughts. And smoking, that's what the fuck is, the fuck is you doing? You know what I'm saying? You know, and hey, don't let your, your, your thoughts get ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? Cause you a big irrational shit. Trust me, I've been there, I've been there, done that. Me and my baby mom, so I got, got a lot of fights. And 90% of the time it's because of me. Definitely on the, when I was on the road, it's 90% of the time because I get a thinking, the overthinking, and thinking of, thinking of overthinking of that, and all of a sudden shit. I'm, and that's the thing I know, I'm on the phone cussing my ass out because I'm just, just, just me by myself thinking. You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? And, and she probably did, probably she did on you know, her, but uh, doing some real shit. You know what I'm saying? She probably did it. You know what I'm saying? Because your mind played tricks on you when you're on this damn road. This road, this road is no fun. It's no fun. If I say it's a lot of, I, I, like I tell you, my, my friend, he, he think it's easy because it's not, he, he work at a warehouse and he think, okay, they take, he, he taking the physical part out. You know, I would rather, you know, if they was paying, if the warehouse paying this much money and the truck paying, I get paid now, I probably work at a warehouse before I work there. And I love driving, I love the truck shit, but missing your family and all that shit and, it's the mental aspect and the emotional aspect of the of this truck and that's really it's the hardest part. And it's physical, you get over that because at least you go home every night and you start over the next day. The, the mental and the emotional aspect of this truck and shit is a it's a monster, bro. That shit's something else. Like the first two years, I could you get I got home sick. I'm talking about man, I wanted to go home every night. Like damn. Hey, that dog would never get home sick being seven times home and being ill seven times. I thought I was hours away. But at least I got out. I was thinking about like then this like this shit. You wanna call it. I call it like this. It's a motherfucker. It's a uh it's a, I call it a moving cell block. Because you it's a moving cell block because you're a prisoner on the road. That's all you that's all it is, basically. You're a prisoner on the road, and you got your, and I call them my dispatch wardens because, you know, they tell you what to do, tell you where to go, and all that shit. They, they the wardens of this motherfucking shit. And then, you know, it's, it's a bust. Crazy shit. This shit crazy. I mean, it's crazy. It, it, it's something else. For real, but, so I say, don't do it for the money. Do it for the love, man. That's all I want to tell you, man. And then, you know, I, I, was, I know I started off with the dedication shit. You know, yeah, the dedication, the dedication, the ca dedicated jobs, you know, over the local and the regional. I got regional because it's in the mix of between local, 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 they gonna run you half to death. Because you home every night, they gonna run you to death. For real, they gonna run you to death. If you a local drive, you a local truck driver, they gonna run you. I think most of the uh, local truck drivers are uh, attached to this, but they gonna run you. You know, they gonna, uh, regional, they run you too, but they ain't gonna run you like the local. The local, you fuck around, it's fuck up. The local's fuck up, but it's take a, it's take a mindset. You gotta have, you gotta be doing a regional. I did three years of over the road for the three years here. Maybe I do local next. I maybe, maybe. And they go through the worst, they go through the worst shit. To be honest, that local shit, because you really not going nowhere, you stay in that one facility. Or you gonna probably go to the next state over. And then shit, it's guaranteed you're gonna go through some bullshit. Guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? Dedicated, man, and you know, it's a time schedule. Like uh, I remember uh last week I went to Detroit, uh went to Flint, I went to uh Caton, then I went to uh Grand Rapids. That was all day for me. And shit. Plus driving up here, that was all day. I, I had to do all that all day. And man, and, it, and I had like, I told you I had like about 20 minutes on my clock. And it was like, it was something else, like dedicated to something else. But long haul got his, got his perks. It's more relaxed because you set your own schedule. They give you plenty enough time to set your schedule. So you can work. I used to work from 
12 o'clock at night to 12 o'clock in the morning. Because I go back in in the morning, the truck, truck, truck spots, uh, stops be clear. And because all my appointments was basically early as shit. So I said, okay, 12 to 12, fuck it. And then when I leave, it's 12 o'clock at night, the truck stops be jam packed, but I could leave and I drive for like, I drive for like 10 out, the 10, 11 hours. You know, I, it took a lot of resets. But, uh, cause I, you know, I had to. There was no recap, so you could be one in 10 hours, I guarantee you. You got one, you got one eight, nine forty-five at the most. But you won 10 hours, you know, you, you gotta take resets. You know, that's no one, you run a human on time, so we'll have to stop you there for two days. But it was cool, pretty dope, because, but, it, but the home time was a problem, a big problem at the time. Right now, I could run over road like nothing. But, uh, oh, so I took this dedicated job, and this dedicated job is a handful because, because when, I come home, when I come home, when I was with my ex, I sleep, I was sleep all, I was sleep all, I mainly sleep all the time. Too tired to take a shower, I used to hate that shit, I used to be that musty as shit, because you, man, it's, man, and I got like 10 free shower credits, but it's hard to take a shower when you're on the road because definitely you're doing the dedicated shit because they schedule so tight, so by the time you get done doing this shit, you be tired, man. I mean, that's, I mean, that's no, no bust, of, if there's a bust about it, you be tired, so I, yeah, but she didn't understand. She probably would never understand, you know. I'm not with her no more, so it is what it is, and my ass will up, you know. I'm just happy she happy with somebody else, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, I'm happy with somebody else too. So, you know what I'm saying? I mean, though I'm single, technically, but uh, that shit, every time I hit the video, that shit never come on with where I don't have the video on. But I had a video on, this shit come and shit pop up, man. What the fuck, god damn. You know what I'm saying? You don't even be on the line. That's one thing about these new trucks, too. I used to drive the 15s, the 15s, the 15s, the 16s don't have that shit. This an 18, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, 17s, 18s, and on up. Well, 18s, this is 17. 18 got that loud sound. Oh shit, the, uh, the, the 17's got the low sound, it's a Freightliner. I, 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 I had a, I had a luck, of the, luck of the draw choice, you know what I'm saying? Cause my shit is Kenworth. Give me a Kenworth. Definitely I'm on the road, give me a Kenworth because I can go up a mountain easy as hell. You give me these fucking Freightliners and that, it was like, I had to choose between a motherfucking international and a freightliner. Once you get, if you knew, you would see. But I had to choose between the international and the freightliner. I said, fuck the international, give me some fucking freight. That international bullshit, and I fucking want to be shit. That shit, fuck around, turn the corner, I said, don't break down on me. And I drove this now before. I drove a Volvo. Volvo's pretty smooth, you know what I'm saying? They break down the heartbeat too. The, uh, Volvo. Um, I drove a uh, a Mack truck, it's basically the same shit. They break down too, but it's a little bit better than a Volvo. But uh, uh, Peter, uh, Peterbilt and a uh, um, Kenworth, they kind of my type of ideal truck. Man, all right, you know what I'm saying? They think they my ideal truck. You know what I'm saying? I you know, like this Freightliner shit. Man, it's in between. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna make a video of my top five favorite trucks because my first one is always a Kenworth. Uh, even though they, I mean, it's not really my first, Peterbilt really is my first one, my people, Peterbilt. Because they turn radius way better than the Kenworth. Kenworth shit, shit, like right, they don't really turn, like, they turn kind of fucked up. You gotta learn how to turn. You want to get used to the turn and shit? Kenworth must have breeze. Uh, shit, Peterbilt is like, man, that shit, that's a luxury ass truck, man. I'm going up a mountain while I'm losing speed. You know what's going to do? I'm driving automatic because I'm doing regional. I'm being in cities a lot. And you, if you, when you go learn, once you, if you get CDLs, so you, you already got the CDLs, you're going to learn that I, I drive an automatic when I'm going. If definitely I do local regional, make sure you get an automatic. Oh, if you want a clutch, go get a clutch. But a stick shift, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I get automatic when I'm in regional. When I'm in regional and um, local, man, I'm getting automatic. Because I go through cities a lot. And then that shit right there with a the stick is a bitch. But if I'm over the road, it's 
the difference. I'm getting me a stick. I know I'm going to not hit cities that much. I'm not going to hit cities. I won't be on the fucking land and fucking Detroit. I'll be in these fucking, these fucking lands and shit like that. And shit, trust me, you need that clutch. You need that stick, bro. Because you're going down these goddamn mountains. You're going to need that. You're going to go RPMs, shoot high, sky high, man. And then they're going to blow the damn engine. Fuck with this motherfucker. Uh, stick shit. You got to learn how to manually do all that shit. It's so much simpler with a motherfucking um, stick when you got it going up there. Man. Definitely in California, man. In California, it's like it's never going to change, man. I don't give a damn if I don't drive over the road for the next 10 years still be for trucks 55 miles per hour and everybody else going 7. And then you feel like you're impeding traffic, which you are, which is you are. You are impeding traffic, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 this truck shit is some, some bullshit, but um, you know, I, you know, I gotta go. Love you guys. 